Pit Barrel. Yeah, you. Looking kind of warm under that cover. So are you ready to get back to work tomorrow? Well, you know, you've had, what, two or three weeks off. I think it's time to get back to work. We're going to put you to the ultimate test tomorrow, so be ready. From the very definition of what a difference a day makes, welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0. Today, putting the pit barrel cooker to the ultimate test. I teased this video about 24 hours ago, but upon further reflection, this may not be the ultimate test for the pit barrel cooker. I think the pit barrel cooker is gonna to rise to this occasion easily. So what are we cooking today? We're doing an entire front, I believe it's a front, a venison leg quarter. Um, stepping into the Wayback Machine, I had to remove a lot of the hard fat. Like I mentioned many times before, the hard fat, or the fat in general, is where the gaminess likes to hang out. It's where the gamey flavor resides in wild game. Also, there's a tremendous amount of silver skin on this. I'm taking most of it off, and I'm going to leave some of it on. And at one point, I decided to lop off the lower part of the leg. A couple of components of the pit barrel cooker are brilliant. I'm going to show you that in a minute. That's why I decided to take the lower half of the leg quarter off, and I didn't trim it at all. I'm just uh, using this as an experiment. It's a smaller piece of meat, of course. It's going to cook a lot faster than the uh, larger one. Venison leg quarter. What would be good on venison leg quarter besides just the smoke that we'll produce? I know. We need some Sang stir fry oil. Mostly using this as a binder for this. This is Pit Barrel's very own beef and game rub. Haven't tried it yet. As a matter of fact, I just opened it and sprinkling it on here, I can tell that. It's going to be good. So let's get back out there, set up the pit barrel. Stick around. We've got the basket full, about three quarters of the way full of uh, unburned charcoal down in the bottom. Of course, you can't see that right now. And I've got a chimney full of uh, what was left in the bag, actually, the charcoal bag, which is about 36 coals. Worked out pretty well. And somebody voiced uh, a concern, or maybe it was a complaint a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, last time we used the pit barrel about uh, why did I use an entire chimney full of charcoal? Well, I didn't, but no, no. This is a standard Weber charcoal chimney. This is just a tiny little chimney. Uh, like I said, 36 coals. Our coals are pretty much ashed over for the most part. When you order a pit barrel cooker, it will arrive with two stainless steel horizontal uh, grates, one of which is hinged. Check this out. This is a brilliant design and concept for the pit barrel cooker. And as a matter of fact, I'm using this one today. You'll see why in a minute. So let's get this in there. Just like that. And I'm gonna flip this up already. Having a hinged grate like this allows for the ability to hang and also to place the lower part of the leg quarter there. And there you go. This may take two hours. It could take four hours or longer. I'm just gonna let the PBC do its thing. We might uh, walk away from it, get in the car, go get a mocha, <laughs> something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook this until it reaches an internal temperature of about 155 to 160 or at that point which the business end of a purple thermal pop goes in smooth and easy like butter a hot knife and all that jazz so we'll see you in two or three four five six hours amazing amazing we're not even at two hours mission elapsed time we're about an hour and 50 minutes into this i just checked with the purple thermal pop this venison 
uh, leg quarter is already done. Check it out. And it smells great out here. Absolutely fantastic. So we'll get this off somehow. Amazing pit barrel cooker rises to the challenge. Wow. Okay, as you can see, the uh, smaller piece did get a little bit burned there. There's some, uh, there's some salvageable stuff here. Hey, let's get this inside. Wow, look at all that charcoal that's left. <laughs> This is after two hours. We've got a bed of hot coals. I gotta get something else out here. Hate to see all that charcoal go to waste, but. Taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy. Let's find out. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely exceptional. Perfect. Smoky, tender, stew meat, crock pot meat. I don't think so. This is good enough for a steak. This is a steak. And there's going to be a bigger steak on my plate in mere moments. 